Whitmore here at Analytics Pros, and I want to take a few minutes to explain one of the kind of oddities that you may see in Google Analytics. I was inspired by a question from a client, and I thought, you know, I bet more people have this challenge, questions about their data, and I'll share the answer with you. So what I've taken a minute to do is write out two different views of data. So what I have here is two profiles that relate to the same website. So the way this is set up, we have one tracker implemented across our main website and a blog that's on a subdomain of our website. And we have the profile that contains all the data and a profile that's filtered down only to the blog hostname, blog.mysite.com. So I've summarized some data here. There's been three visits in this date range we're looking at. And so we see in the first profile, the one that aggregates all the data together, we see three page views, or excuse me, three visits, 12 total page views an average time on site of two minutes and 40 seconds. Average time on page, if we look to the content reports at 57 seconds per page on average, and no bounces, so a bounce rate of 0%. Now here, our second profile, it's filtered down, blog only, we still see three visits, we see only seven page views, we see 27 seconds for our average time on site, 42 seconds for our average time on page, one bounce, and a bounce rate of 33% as one of our three visits bounced. So same, same website, two different views. This is a subset of the data. We still have three visits, fewer page views, and a lot of the metrics are different. How is that? So what I want to do is break this down into the details of these visits and show you kind of how the numbers get calculated so that it makes more sense when you look at these. So over here, I've written out the three sessions we have, session one, session two, and session three. And each dot indicates a page view. Blue dots indicate views to the blog. Red dots indicate views to the main website. So I'll break these sessions apart and calculate out the numbers that Google Analytics would calculate based on these. Our first session has seven total page views in it. So if we were to write out the number of total page views, PV, equals seven. The length of this session is the time between the first hit and the last hit, which I've put here is 300 seconds. So hit number one, two, three, all the way up to seven. So our total time for the session is gonna be 300 seconds. Now what about average time on page? Average time on page is calculated as the delta between two page views. So if we go through and we look at the average time on page, or the time on page for each page in this session, our first page view here is going to be the delta between it and the next page view in the sequence, which is going to be 10 seconds. This one will be viewed for 20 seconds because it's from 10 to 30. So 20, this will be 30, this will be 30, this is going to be 110 because we go from 90 to 200. This is going to be 100, because we go from 200 to 300. And this is zero, because there's no hit following it. Therefore, we can't calculate a time for that page view. So time on page is dependent on having something come after that page view. And when there's no second page view in the calculation, there is no ability to calculate time spent on that page. So if we were to look at average time on site, it's going to be the length of the session. If we were to average out the time on page for these, it's actually going to be, at, from what I can tell, the way GA calculates that, it would be the time spent for each page added up, divided by the number of pages that have a time spent. So the time spent, if we add 10, 20, 30, 30, 110, 100, is still 300 seconds. But we're going to divide it instead of by 7, by 6, which is going to yield 50 seconds on average per page within this session. So we have page views of 7. We have average um, time on site here of 300. Now, in our second profile, P2, where we're looking only at blue data, I've indicated blue to be the blog, it's essentially looking at a subset. So what it does is the data gets processed into this profile, 
is it ignores anything that's red because we configured a filter that says include only blue hits or hits blocked. So our set of data here is only going to include the hits that are blue in what it calculates for its session. Whereas the prior profile looks at all data, we have a bit bigger of a box. So in this, if we look at our numbers, the session here, we still have a visit. That visit only though has four page views, PV equals four. Okay? The length of the visit or time on site is the length from the first hit to the last hit in this filtered set of data, which is going to be zero to 200. The time on page is going to be calculated as the time between each hit. Well, look at the time on page before. Before we understood time on page to be 10 seconds for this first page. But now it's going to be the delta between these two hits, which is going to actually be 30 seconds as a total. So 30 seconds from the first page to the next page. So in this filtered view, if we're comparing the two and we say, hey, profile one, how long are people on, say, the home page of the blog? It's going to say 10 seconds. If we go to the profile that's filtered to only the blog, it's going to say 30 seconds. Because in the context of only hits that come from the blog, the time, as GA can calculate it, for that page is just 30 seconds. So that's how we can start to see some of these big differences between profiles, even when we're looking at the same thing. We think this should still say 10 as well, but it doesn't because first we include or exclude hits, then all the metrics get calculated. So let's move down. This is our second session. It has a total of page views equal to, two page views, 60 seconds duration, so time on site, 60 seconds. And in our blue view, so that's, that's the purple box, our blue profile, guess what? It's only blue hits. So this session is going to have exactly the same data. PV equals 2, time on site equals 60. So for this visit, both profiles would report the exact same numbers for the same view. Here's our third session. Now the main profile is going to again include everything. So we're going to have the page views, oops, wrong color there, page views of three, time on site, this is 120 seconds here, so time on site is going to equal 120. But our profile that's filtered to only blue hits only has one hit in. So page views are going to equal one. Time on site is going to equal zero. Why is that? Because time between session, time for page views is the delta between hit A and B. Time on site is the delta between the first hit and the last hit. In this case, our blue profile only has one hit. There's no ability to calculate a delta. So it is zero. So this also is going to show up as having bounced. Because we only have one hit. Whereas this session, the purple session, doesn't bounce because there's three hits. Okay? So some other interesting things. Notice in this profile, the average time on page is 60 seconds. So we have a delta here. Let's say that this hit uh, came in at 60. So the time on this first page is going to be 60, and then this is 60 as well. So that equals um, 120 in total. So between here to here is 60, between here to here is 60. Total of 120, 60 seconds for this page, 60 seconds for this page. So again, in, in this profile, we're going to understand the amount of time spent on this page wasn't zero. It was actually 60 seconds. Very different picture. Um, now our average time on page in this will be calculated as 60 seconds, even though there were three hits. And in this profile, our average time on page is going to be zero. Wildly different numbers. So I hope that goes to underscore that when you start filtering down your sets of data, while that's a very powerful capability in Google Analytics, it really can have a significant impact on the data that you see both at a top line view, overall view, 
as well as when you dig into the details, even down to an individual page, the understanding of, of how we look at the length, say, a page view differs when our scope of data included changes. So this is why it's really, really important to plan out your implementation of Google Analytics so that it spans your entire, entire digital landscape. If you implement it only on your main site and not your blog, you're gonna have a very different picture, only red dots. If you implement it only on your blog and not your main site, or look at a filtered down profile of only your blog, you see a different picture. Not that that picture is wrong, it's just different than what I would say is the whole picture here. So in this profile, we get our best view of the entirety of user experience, the entirety of how long people spend on pages, and we can still drill down and understand details about each individual page within this profile. This one gives it an interesting view, but different, and it's just important to keep that in mind. So there you go. Hope some questions are answered. Thanks for watching.